guys. Um, happy day. Today is pretty gloomy, but we need the rain, so I'm not even complaining. Um, I have to admit, I love being in my greenhouse. When it rains, it sounds amazing, it feels amazing, and uh, all that jazz. Um, today, I, I feel like to, this time, this is my first official gardening video. Um, the last one, I have to apologize, was like super pointed, super short. It was not really intended for YouTube. Um, it just was a little too long to put on any other platforms. And I just was like, oh, I'll put it on YouTube. Um, so this one's going to be like way more... It's just going to be better. <laughs> um, what I'm going to be talking about today is going to be seed starting. Um, so my gardens always stem from um, seed. I like germany germinating seeds and it gives me something to do at the, like the end of February. Um, honestly, it gives me something to do like all the way in December. It's usually when I buy my catalog, I start looking it through, I start thinking about what I want to do <clears throat> and all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll start with seeds. I love, and where I get my seeds from, is from Baker Creek. Um, they have all heirloom seeds. Um, I My first like independent garden that I did, uh, which was literally like a box of tomatoes. Like I just did like a four by four box. I put way too many in there. I just, I just wanted to do it, so I did it. Um, and that was like in 2017. Um, and I loved it. My grandmas have gardened my whole life. I've always helped people in their gardens and it's been kind of like a family thing. But 2017 is when I officially like independently did it on my own. And it's just kind of has grown since then. And in 2018, I stumbled across, let's see here. <clears throat> I think it was 2018. Yes. 2018, I stumbled across the Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Catalog in Albertsons. I was drawn to it. I absolutely loved the information. I mean, the pictures are to die for. They're actually well known for like their photography um, and their literature in it. Um, and you buy seeds from them. Obviously, it's a seed company. Um, <clears throat> And since then, I've only ever bought seeds from there. I wouldn't necessarily consider myself a seed snob by any means. I just really like this company. Um, I really like what they do. They, um, they, uh, they have a lot of fundraising. They have a lot of events where if you buy seeds during certain times, like 100% of that proceed will go to that um, foundation, um, whatever it may be. Um, and you don't see a lot of that these days. Usually you see like, oh, 10% of the proceeds are going to go to this. And everyone's still looking to make a dollar, which I get it. Like, we all need to live. But these guys are just amazing. Um, I really hope to <clears throat> travel. I forget exactly. They're in, uh, I think they're in Missouri. Um, and I would love to visit their farm. I, I follow them on Instagram and people rave about like you can buy their seeds there. Um, and then just, I think even later in the season, you can buy their own produce. And I just, again, it's on my bucket list. Um, but why I pick heirloom seeds. This is just a little fun fact, which I'm sure everyone already knows. Heirloom seeds are um, seeds that uh, are not genetically modified. They, uh, new strains that come about usually are through cross-pollination and cross-breeding, um, which, gosh, people have been doing for centuries, I'm sure. Um, and with them being an heirloom seed and not genetically modified, um, at the end of your harvest, just let things get over ripened and then when you harvest them you can actually start harvesting your own seeds and you can kind of create your own little uh little circle you know where you just start harvesting your own seeds and i'm sure you could mess around with cross-pollination and all that fun nerdy stuff that comes with gardening um non-heirloom seeds tend to be um modified in some sense either they are modified to produce heavy yields <clears throat> or they are modified to produce larger fruit. I'm not dogging on those at all. Um, I just love the fact that I can um, 
I can reuse my seeds. These ones store for a really long time. Uh, my germination rate with Baker Creek is phenomenal. Um, everything has at least a 90% germination rate, um, which therefore means 90% of my seeds that planted are going to sprout. Um, yeah, so that's just a little basis of where I get my seeds, why I get my seeds, why I love them. Um, my my man, he always makes fun of me because I get a new catalog every year. And uh, every year I buy a new one and he's like, well, why can't you use the one from last year? And I'm like, you're 100% correct. I could use the one from last year. Uh, hence the word could. Um, once my children are old enough to not ruin all of my things, um, these will become coffee table pieces for anyone that wants to come over and thumb through them. Um, yeah, so that's where I get my seeds. Um, this year when I started my seeds, I used these little um, I can't even fully remember what they're. I think they're like pellet somethings. I'm not a big fan of these. Um, again, not dogging on them at all. Um, there's pros and cons to using these. I use these th this year because um, I got like 500 of them for free. And what I love about gardening is I'm always about a budget. Like I'm always trying to do it on as least cost as possible. Um, just because I feel like it makes the reward at the end just so much better. Um, and honestly, I approach every aspect of my life in that manner. Um, I'm not really trying to get like the shiniest, uh, bestest things out there. I just really want great quality things that work, that are affordable. And these are those. I mean, they do work. What I do like about these is, so when you put them in the little, um, your little greenhouse dome thing, because I do mine indoors to start with. You fill the, the, uh, the, you fill your dome up, the bottom of it, with water, and these will absorb all the water and they'll rehydrate. And then you pop your seed in. Um, what I do love about these is they are quick and easy. Um, these were free for me, so that was another thing I loved about them. Also, they're really easy to transplant. So everything starts with this for me this year. And then once it got big enough, I planted it in a cup. I like Red Solo cups. Um, these are like my second or third year using the same cups. I mean, I don't see why I want it. I just cut a little hole for drainage in the bottom. That's important. You always want to allow your um, plants to drain. By doing that, you're preventing root rot, um, aphid inf infestations, all of that terrible things that come with gardening um <clears throat> and so they're very easy because you have your sprout and you just take it and you put it in there you put some dirt on it what i don't like about these is they do if you keep them too moist which i do um just because i i want everything to stay watered they do tend to sometimes um, produce mold um, also if you let your plants go too long which i did um with having two small children Sometimes I'm just fitting things in when I can, as all moms do. Uh, kudos to us. Uh, the roots get so big they get tangled. That doesn't in, that doesn't put any danger on your plant. The, the plant is totally fine. It just is kind of a, a hassle ripping them apart. And I wasn't I personally was not fond of that. Um, years prior, I have actually had like a seed tray where I just went and got some local um, potting mix from my local seed store. Um, their brand, they make it in-house, um, organic, really clean, um, and I'll just use that. Um, either way is so efficient. And that's the great thing about gardening. You get to do what you want to do and how you like to do it. Um, there's really no wrong way um, unless something dies and then I wouldn't even necessarily say it was wrong. It just, you know Needs a little fine-tuning. So next time that doesn't happen um, So yeah, that's what I use for my seeds this year. So I am so proud So proud of my <laughs> seeds this year. I'm sorry I just get like so stoked and then my face turns red and I just start jabbering Because look at this like this is the best my seeds have ever ever looked starting from seed. Um, my plants have ever looked starting from seed. Uh, they're big, they're healthy, they're sturdy. Um, 
the only, well, I did quite a few things differently this year. Um, this, this is my Carolina Reaper pepper plant. Um, I have quite a few of these. Um, let's grab one of these bad boys out of here. This is one of the many tomato plants. I mean, they're just so beautiful and they're so happy and they're so tall and strong and they just look so gosh darn good. Um, this is the best. This is literally the best I've ever done. Multiple things contribute to this. So the first thing that I did differently this year was I got heat mats. I got heat mats. I got this off Amazon. I'll attach the link below um, in the bio. Um, very affordable. They came in two packs. I have three, one for peppers, two for tomatoes. Um, Cause those are the only seeds. Oh, and my loofahs and my melons. But those are the only things I really start indoors. Everything else I start outdoors. Um, beans, cucumbers, um, onions. I just do straight in the ground. Strawberries. Um, yeah, I'm herbs just straight in the ground after it, uh, they're a little, they're, they're hardier for late frost. Uh, when it gets cold, it's not going to damage them. They actually thrive in cooler weather, you know, your beans and your cucumbers. And you'll notice once you have the plants, I'll get a yield all year long, but they definitely start to taper off when it gets way too hot. Now, tomatoes and peppers, they love the heat. I mean, obviously after a certain time, you don't want to get it to get too hot too early, but um, they love the heat and they're definitely more of a hot weather plant. So I got, um, the, the heat mats this year. And then also off of Amazon, I got these really, really awesome grow lights. This is my first year really doing grow lights other than in my arrow garden, um, which is another way you can start seeds. Super fond of that. I just don't want to buy like 50 arrow gardens. So, um, these were amazing. These really helped my tomato plants not get um, leggy. So what, what you wanna do when you're starting your seeds is you wanna have that grow light as close to the plant as possible. So when it finally germinates and it sprouts through the soil, it's not reaching for light. I mean, that's what it's desperately trying to get to. So if you have these really long and stringy plants, there's nothing wrong with that. They're just going to take a little bit longer to, um, it's just going to take a little bit longer for them to get stronger. They're not going to be able to handle like heavy rains and like wind is as early on in the season as if you were to get a plant that really grew compactly. And then when you grew, brought it outside, it started growing more towards the sun. Um, these are again, very affordable. I think they're actually on sale right now on Amazon. I'll attach the link. Um, below, I have to be honest, I'm not a super big Amazon shopper, but I needed to get my seed starting stuff so early in the, in the, in the season, my seed store didn't really have it in stock just yet. Um, so these were the two things that I did get off of Amazon. Um, bang for your buck. This is really cool. I just attached to my shelf and then I just spread the lights out and they all attached evenly. I do have to tell you, even with grow light, nothing beats natural light. With my tomato plants, when I brought them out here first, I was so proud because they were about this tall. They have now grown to about here. Um, because So again, this is just proof that nothing beats, beats natural light. They love natural light. Um, oh, can you hear that rain? It sounds amazing in my greenhouse. Um, so... So yeah, heat mat, grow light, game changers this year. So exciting, so excited. Um, everything is still in my greenhouse. So I do have a space heater running in my greenhouse. My greenhouse is phenomenal and I love it and it's beautiful and it's my space, my she shed, greenhouse, whatever you wanna call it. But um, it doesn't um, hold the heat in as much during the night. So I do have a space heater out here and I did just bring them out about three weeks ago. So they were in my house until that point. I think it was until the nights were in the high 30s and then I tested them out with a space heater and they didn't, they could handle it. And they're also large enough that they could handle it. The other cool thing about my greenhouse is even when it's cold, even if it were to freeze, it keeps the freeze off of them. So nothing, another huge, huge benefit of a greenhouse. Um, yeah. So after I 
that after they grow, I repot them in this. I keep them in the house still on their heat mats. And then when I feel like they are grown enough where they don't need me, gosh, <laughs> that rain, it sounds so amazing. Um, I then bring them out to the greenhouse. I don't have heat mats out here. I don't have grow lights. At this point, it's all natural. So I personally do like Fox Farm um, fertilizer. It's all organic. It's really amazing. It's um, depending on which kinds you get. It's like fat castings and worm castings, which is fat poop and worm poop. Um, so natural organic things that really help your plants. Uh, but yeah. So I think the rain is telling me I should probably be reeling it in and I should probably uh, end the video. I hope that this was uh, beneficial for you. I hope it was slightly educational. I'm sure that you guys all already know this. I just love gardening so much and I just love telling people about it. And so that's why I am doing this. Um, if you guys have any questions or or if you like have an awesome topic that you're like, oh, we should talk about this, let me know. I, would, I love ideas, I love knowledge sharing. That's the great thing about gardening is it's just a really great community that, um, it's a hobby that creates a community that we can all share our wisdom, share our knowledge. Um, it's not competitive, we all are just love what we do and we wanna help others do what they love to do. So thank you guys. I will see you next time and um, hopefully it won't be raining as bad, so. See you later!